Hi everyone, welcome back for our second lesson on Florence Nightingale. In this lesson we will be learning to know the life of Florence Nightingale. We will be looking at her timeline and a timeline is a tool that helps us to organize events in order. So the events in order that we will be looking at are the things that happened in Florence Nightingale's life. So we're going to start at the beginning. You can see the very first um, date on our timeline is 1820 and it goes in order from the dates. And then the last date at the end is the latest date, which is 1910. So let's begin. In 1820, Florence Nightingale was born on the 12th of May in 1820. So exactly 200 years ago, in 1820, Florence Nightingale was born. In 1851, Florence became a nurse. In 1853, Florence was made superintendent at a medical centre for women in London. So she was the head person in charge at a medical centre for women in London. Also in 1853, the same date that she became superintendent, the Crimean War broke out. In 1854, Florence went to Turkey to care for wounded soldiers. So a war is when two groups, it might be two countries or two groups, are fighting and wounded soldiers are soldiers that are hurt or injured. So in 1854, Florence went to Turkey to help soldiers who were hurt. Also in 1854, Florence made sure the hospitals were clean and she saved many lives. So remember, we learned in the last lesson that before Florence Nightingale, the hospitals were dirty, there were rats, the food was mouldy and old. But in 1854, when Florence went to Turkey, she made sure the hospitals were clean and she saved many people. Also in 1854, Florence was named Lady of the Lamp. And remember, a lamp is a light. In the picture, Florence is holding a light. She cared for people through the night with a lamp in her hand. So she was always working. In 1855, people gave lots of money to the Nightingale Fund for the training of nurses. So now Florence had changed how people thought about nurses. People now understood that nurses should be trained so they can help doctors to help the injured people in the hospital. In 1856, the Crimean War ended. There was no more fighting. In 1857, Florence returned to England as a heroine. So that means that Florence was now a hero. Can you think why Florence was a hero or a heroine? In 1859, the Nightingale Training School was opened. So in this school, people didn't learn the alphabet or how to read or write. Can you think about what they learned in this training school? They trained how to become nurses. They learned how to become nurses. In 1883, Queen Victoria, the Queen of England, awarded Florence the Royal Red Cross. In 1896, when Florence was 76 years old, she became so ill and sick, she couldn't leave her bed. So at this time, she's now an older lady. And in 1910, when she was 90, Florence Nightingale died on the 13th of August. And this picture is a real picture of Florence Nightingale or a painting of Florence Nightingale. So she lived an amazing life and she helped many, many people. She was very selfless and that means she doesn't care about herself. She only cares about helping other people. So she was a great lady. 
Now you're ready for your second task.